underground, how you feel? My name is Colin Niles. I'm from Madison, Jackson, Ohio. My childhood when I was younger was a little difficult. You know, my twin and I got taken away from my mother when we were five years old. Prior to that, we used to sleep in homeless shelters. We used to sleep in cars. I remember when we first got taken away, you know, to our first foster home. You know, they made me stand there and they hit me in the face with the metal belt. After that, we went to our second foster home and I used to fight a lot to protect my twin and I. I used to run away from home a lot. Um, I used to cry a lot because I didn't like it. I didn't love it there. They made us eat dog food and it was, it was brutal. And after that, you know, we got adopted when I was eight years old. And I remember I was sitting there praying like, please get me out of here because I knew that if I would have stayed here, it wouldn't have been a good um, outcome for me. End up getting a doctor, like, please, I hope they take us. Well, my parents now, they welcomed us with open arms. They loved us. At that time, I didn't know really much about sports, and my neighbor, you know, hit my dad up and was like, hey, if your son's interested in playing football, you know, here's a flyer. And that's when I started playing football, tackle football, eight years old. I didn't know anything about football at all, to be honest. And and I went to the first practice and I was running. And then they was like, man, your son's really fast. And I remember my dad telling me, you know, if you're the fastest, don't ever let nobody beat you. From there on out, I was a, a workaholic. Even in the morning before school, like five o'clock in the morning, I race school buses. I go up the hill and I race, I run. I be in the hallways at school, you know, working on my form and technique. Anybody who wanted to race me and challenge me, I was down and willing. For me, my competitiveness, you know, came from probably when I was young when people doubted me because they said I was too small. But I knew I had a gift, I was fast, but they always said, oh, he's too small to do this, he's too small to do that. Anybody who doubted me and challenged me, I was ready to rise up. I, I love it. I love being fast. You know, my dream was track and field. About 2012, I remember you know, watching film, like I always do. I saw rugby. You know, people thought I was crazy. They were like, rugby? All these guys were probably playing all their life. When you get into these different sports and things like that, you gotta stand out. Why are you special? And I had something that nobody else had, and that's with speed. I'll be the fastest. I wanted that title, and that's why I worked so hard so nobody could take it from me. So I still do track just to let them know I still got it. I think for me, my whole life, I've been running from something and towards something. And I was running away from, you know, things I didn't want to be. You know, running away from doubt, running away from fear, running away from my own mind. You know, but also I was running towards the objective. You know, being somebody, making something of myself. We came up on top and now we're representing our country. Now it's just showtime. I love the process. That's the only thing that matters to me, not the outcome, the process. Because I can live with it. If I know I've done everything I can, I know the goals are gonna come. And that's why it's so important to me. I never compromise on the process. Get out, body angle. Transition, get talk, get talk. Maintain, core tight. Posture, relax. I hit it. Boom, 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 boom. I'm calling Niles and I run wild without compromise.